Welcome to Dan S channel. 23 days in Ghana. I don't know. It seems as if I've been here a uh, little longer or more than a little longer. But uh, guys, experience so far, exposure, two things I'm always seeking and will go through and try and obtain both. On the matter of Ghana card, I've had a couple persons asking me, Diane, what's up with this Ghana card? You really need a Ghana card? So let me try and, and simplify it for you. And they also asked me about, you know, how do you decide where you're going to uh, spend some time as your base, for want of a better word, location, right? And let me just simplify it as best as, as I can. And hopefully you, you get it. The Ghana card. If you want to become self-sufficient on your stay here in Ghana while you're exploring, then it's in your best interest to obtain the Ghana card. Why? Main reason, primary reason, spending your money. Obtaining your money. If you're not able to spend your money how you choose, and by that I mean when you're going and you're purchasing or engaging in any type of business where money is, is um, being transacted or the source of transaction, it's going to be very challenging. Yes, Ghana accepts credit cards, Visa, Master, but the majority of the merchants do, they don't. So what is in your best interest? For me, I do not have the time, neither the inclination, for every step I make, I ask, do you take credit card? If eight out of 10 say no, what do I do? Then it simply means you will have to ask someone, can you purchase this and I reimburse you? What if you have not developed that kind of relationship with whomever you may meet as you go through. Again, I'm looking for what is easier as I choose to become self-sufficient while I'm developing relationships in Ghana. And so therefore, you cannot get mobile money. You cannot use mobile money or obtain a mobile money transfer account unless you have the Ghana card. I cannot speak to what it was like prior to 22 days, but I can say upon landing in Ghana, this is the requirement. So as a non-citizen, I will say to you, it's, the process was not difficult. You know, at the end of the day, the process was not difficult. So for me, it's in my best interest to get the Ghana card. How was it impacted? Well, I tell you, I can go to cut and go through much more faster than prior because transportation, buying from a street vendor or in the store, you simply say Momo. Nine and a half times out of ten, the answer I can tell you is yes. You have mobile uh, money transfer accounts. I'm on Voda, Voda Cash. I found the uh, most popular one is MTN. But again, most persons operate by both. I've only had uh, one or two instances, but one merchant, uh, a big enough merchant, I would say, or quite large, they did not accept Voda Cash. They provided me another option. The option was quite fine because what? I already put the things through to cash. I got the total. I need my goods. It was no problem. The other option worked smoothly. And in fact, I do go to that particular uh, merchant uh, quite frequent. The next thing, one, for me, I had to get used to getting a taxi. 
Now everything you have to download, app for this, app for that, app for this, app for that. And uh, Dan is not really an app person. But let me tell you something, if I can do it, anybody, this is no exaggeration, if I can be working my phone the way I've been working it since landing in Ghana, anybody can do it. And so as I mentioned in another uh, vlog, Bolt and Uber are quite popular. So I have the two, I have downloaded both apps on my smartphone. And I've been using Bolt uh, a little bit more frequent. And so all you do is you book your Bolt taxi. It asks where you're going. No, I don't know the places. But you know what I decided to do? Today, 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 this morning, and I'm going to test it out because I'm hitting the road shortly. I am just going to put in a location that is relatively close to where I live. That I know, yes? When you do that, the app gives you a price. And they, they literally have an offer, and I didn't realize that until a couple of days ago. And so, for example, they'll say comfort, light, uh, I don't remember what the other option is. And um, the pricing could be, say, 10 Ghana CD for comfort, light could be 8 Ghana CD, and the other one, I can't remember, so I won't speak to the third option. Um, I'm realizing that if you need a taxi with AC, etc., or maybe a, a bigger ride, then that would be considered comfort. Be that as it may, I'm going to drop that location in. You get a price option, yes? Um, and then the taxi comes and you go. What I'm going to do when the, when the boat taxi comes for me, I'm just going to say, listen, this is where I need to find. Can you help me? But it's closed within, that, uh, within this region that I put down as to where I'm going. That's it on the taxi. Again, Momo, yes, you pay via mobile money. You jump out of your taxi, you're going about your business. You may stop at a little roadside vendor. Momo, yes, they will take the mobile money. It don't matter how much, what the cost of your purchase, it is not limited on the cost. For example, minimum. Well, that has not been in my experience, not saying that other merchants may not apply it or roadside vendors, but in my experience, that is, is really not so. And that for me is, is, is ease, is ease. I don't have to keep on saying to somebody, look here, please, can you just buy that for me and I'll reimburse you. What if you do not have sufficient cash in, 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 your, in your hand? And why are you going to labor yourself to be walking around with X amount of currency, US dollars, and then to find a cambio and change? So again, for me personally, and um, you can decide out there, but again, the, the, the Ghana card, followed by getting that mobile money account up and running, serves me well as I try to move about being self-sufficient. Another thing to point out is that the phone, you cannot get a SIM card. You cannot obtain a SIM card without the Ghana card. It is what it is. And so again, I have no regrets because I'm moving through in trading quite easily with my Momo. Um, and getting used to the map. Yes, the map. When you download this taxi app and you put in where you're going, a map comes up. And then you can see where your driver is coming from. I can't... <laughs> Lord of mercy. Let me say this again. If I can manage this, so can you. Another thing about Momo, which, 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 which I quite like, is that if you have your friends or family and they want to send a little change for you, from the US, I'm going to come back to Jamaica and, and, and ask a question on Jamaica. But if they're in the USA, and I suspect it's the same for the UK and Canada, but I'm going to speak to the USA again because you know the US dollars, many of us trade in the US dollars. And they say, okay, let me send you a little thing, some change. If they're going to use 
Western Union, and I'll just, I'll just refer to Western Union as it's quite popular for many people out there uh, in the diaspora, and, and in particular, Jamaica. But they have quite a, a few um, remittances, international global remittances that you can, can choose. But let me work with Western Union. They just go on the Western Union platform. They select to send money. One of the options available is mobile money. So all they have to do is choose Ghana as a destination, your name and your account number, or will they just say number? That's your phone number, your cellular phone number. That is what is tied to your mobile money account. They, say, they, they, they put that in, and let me tell you something, before you say C, yes, A, B, C, your money reach, converted into Ghana CDs. Hello, no man, come on man. So, so let me tell you something. Let me just say this. I had to get the Ghana card. I had to get the mobile. Because look here, I'm in Africa, destination Ghana. The friends and family, they will drop some little change in. And I have to be able to access it in short order. Uh, the next thing is, in Jamaica, I do not know if anybody back home knows they can, you know, respond back in the comment section that if you have your U.S. account in Jamaica or even a local account, are you able to send funds to friends or family in Ghana using mobile money as an option? Not sending it through wire, through wire transfer in your bank account. And that's providing you do have the bank account in Ghana. Not everybody wants to open up a bank account in Ghana if they are traveling on an exploratory trip or otherwise. And so I ask the question again, do you have that system in place or banks in Jamaica where you can send money to loved ones via mobile money transfer? Um, if it's yes, let me know. If not, I revert to the US of A. And again, it will be the same, I believe, in UK and Canada. Friends and loved ones in those regions, I am telling you, I have experienced it. Just testing that you can send money from the USA to your loved one in Ghana via mobile money because Western Union has that as an option. And I'm sure the rest of the remittances uh, globally do have mobile money as an option. So again, I could not experience that if I did not have the Ghana card. So for me, the Ghana card is extremely important. Location, where are you going to stay when you come to Ghana? Again, that, is, that, that for me, um, I would ask the person intending to come. A couple of questions, you know, how long you plan to stay? What do you uh, plan to do in, in, in Ghana? You know, why? 31 plus million population is Ghana, in Ghana. Jamaica is what? Under 3 million, the place big and place far. In Jamaica, we say it far, it far, it far. And so for me, it suits me to be closer based on what I do, to be closer uh, in the city. I call it the city, Accra, yeah, the city, in moving about. I have no intention of driving in Ghana anytime soon, you know. Anytime soon, no. And so taking the taxi is easier. And it's also cost effective based on how I use the taxis here in Ghana. So somebody is coming in, they may want to rent a vehicle. And so therefore, you can, you can refer or recommend other regions for them to go because they will um, have transportation and they can waive the cost. Not everybody wants to take uh, the other methods of transportation, the buses, etc. By the way, similar things are like what we have in Jamaica. You know, the robot taxis, or sh I normally say in Jamaica, shuttle taxi because they move so fast. Um, and you have the bigger buses that we may call coaster buses, and then you have, I presume it's their uh, 
government buses as we have our JUTC in Jamaica. I, again, take the taxis, the bolt, more often, and we will refer to that as having a charter, taking a charter taxi, where it's you alone or just whomever you, you is traveling with you. But one big difference, you know, sometimes in Jamaica, you know, if you got a charter taxi and you were happy with the driver, you will say, hey, can you come back for me? Can I, you know, get your name and number and whenever I'm heading out, I call you. That's not really necessary in Ghana. I'm mm. realizing that sometimes you're trying to know what you were doing back in Jamaica here. That's not necessary. Why? Because honestly, when you, um, you go on the app and you select a ride, it tells you the available time, as a matter of fact, it tells you to drive and it will say whether it is five, eight, ten minutes away. And so, you know, the driver comes, drops you off at a location. When you're through, they don't, you, don't need, you don't have to tell them to wait on you. When you're through, you go on your app, get a ride, and it's the same process again. You'll see on your map how far that driver is from you. And you have the option to cancel if you so choose. Another thing that um, somebody shared with me, and I, and I do that, but I still roll with bold, is that if you're going to a, sp a particular location, you can select it on the bold app just to get an idea of the cost, then you mosey on over to Uber, do the same thing, get an idea of the cost, and then you decide uh, between the two. So, you know, that's interesting. I'm getting into the hang of it. Um, I'm still not operating on Ghana time, I'm operating on my time. So it, it's really good if I can just hop around and do things on my own. So right now, I'm going to get a bolt. I need to find me a fruit vendor very close by. So I'm going to see how that going to work. Later, I'm going to grab some food. There's a particular joint that I've been going back, you know, more than three times to get some food. I like the food, and I'm not really big on, on, on um chewing a lot. I, I do mostly protein shakes, green teas, supplement heavily, and do my nuts. But when I do eat, and of course I do chew something, I do have a meal at least one time for the day, or maybe, you know, maybe one and a half meal. But this particular joint, I'm hoping I can get to talk to that owner. I'm hoping when I, I, I get there later on, I can just, I'm in a position to ask him one or two questions. And I keep on ordering the same thing, because that is how I am. If I like something, I order it until I Clyde, right? If you don't know what Clyde is, it means until you're tired of it, where you don't even want to have it again for maybe a month or two, right? No, it's the same thing I keep on ordering. Am I going to try something different later? Nah, no, that's just how I am. But again, uh, to a couple persons who want me to show them you know, your fufu and, and, and more of the Ghanaian food. I will get there in time. I soon do it. All right? Stay tuned. God bless.